Pence stated that Trump will refuse to sign the U.S. nuclear sanctions waiver this May, but as Washington now rues the Turkish reaction to its uh, Kurdish initiative, so Israel may yet come to rue the loss of the JCPOA. Does the Israeli leadership seriously believe that Lilliputian MBS, the, the Prince of Saudi Arabia, and the UAE are going to Gulliver's Iran and its allies? And does the Israeli armed forces truly trust the U.S. to have its back completely if it comes to regional war? And finally, there is the deal of the century sending VP Pence to threaten Jordan, Egypt, and the Palestinians with withdrawal of funding completes the picture of an Israeli hoeing in an extremely narrow and highly par partisan Zionist seam of American and global support, a seam consisting of Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law, David Friedman, Trump's uh, specialist in bankruptcy, and Jason Greenblatt, a real estate lawyer and the former chief legal officer working for Trump's various companies. Even Haim Saban, the strongly pro-Zionist founder of the U.S. Brookings Saban Center, described uh, the team to Kushner last month as a bunch of Orthodox Jews who have no idea about anything. And Haim Saban is an Israeli, uh, partly an Israeli movie producer who is behind the Power Rangers series. And since he has a, a, a Saban, what's called the Saban Center with the U.S. Brookings Institute, that shows just how closely uh, entertainment and the governments are intertwined. And the U.S. Brookings Institute is a think tank of, of uh, America that comes up with uh, geopolitical and military strategies on how to govern the world. The team has an entrepreneur, this is Saban speaking, you, a real estate lawyer, a bankruptcy lawyer, I don't know how you've lasted eight months in this lineup. There's not a Middle East maker in this group, Saban said, using the Yiddish word for bigwig. I'm going to go to Jeremiah 49 and 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom banished? So as you can see, a lot of the people in Trump's uh, team right now are bankruptcy lawyers and entertainment moguls. So there's definitely not much wisdom there. And you can see how much uh, the Most High is bringing down America's uh, imminence in the world. Haim Saban, Slakia, Haim Saban noted that indeed the situation in the Middle East uh, has never been so bankrupt. Perhaps Netanyahu may continue to reflect that in mining this very narrow seam, he has replaced Israel, he has placed Israel in a precarious place. He may rejoice at the Palestinians' present humiliation by Trump and Prince, but as the Israeli PM catalyzes American foreign policy in ways that are deeply antagonistic to the region as a whole, not just Iran, Syria, Lebanon and Iraq, but treaty partners Jordan and Egypt too, come the next crisis, Israel may find itself friendless and alone. Even Gulf states are repositioning, hedging, hedging if you prefer, in the face of deep uncertainty in Saudi Arabia. America today is deeply polarized, with each side reflexively rejecting the views on both domestic and foreign policies of the other. Even within the wider seam of cultural nationalism that is apparent in America and Europe today, which I'm going to go to Isaiah 19 and 2, and I will set the Egyptian uh, Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And as it just said, with all these uh, detrimental policies America is pushing in the world, it's causing a division between Americans along lines such as... Uh, uh, liberal and Democrat and uh, gay and straight and uh, religious and uh, atheist and these Egyptians soon which America is the spiritual Egypt today are going to start fighting against each other and a lot of you two-thirds are going to get caught up in this because there's going to be a race war as well Trump's 
Trump's rather narrow Middle East team lineup is not even representative of alt-right culture in general, which ultimately forms Trump's base. The evidence for all the alt-right's insistence on a common Judeo-Christian basis is that those identifying with the alt-right view their culture more narrowly. Rather, unqualified support that Israel, Israel, that Israel believes it now enjoys may prove to be highly ephemeral. The errors of judgment are obvious to Washington establishment figures who see the consequence in mixed messages emanating from the administration and in the erosion of the unitary state in rebellious departmental fiefdoms which the, Weiss, what, which the White House seems unable to control. The Middle East and the wider world just skirted serious conflict in 2017, but we may not be so lucky in 2018. Trump is regarded as Israel's best friend, but is that really so? Israel's future seems much less secure one year after he assumed office. The landscape is darkened. Israel misjudged Syria, it misjudged its Syrian proxies, and will probably and probably will find that it has misjudged MBS, and now a further miscalculation, this time with Turkey. It may misjudge Iran next. So as you can see, Israel they're just going down fast, making all these uh, bad decisions, which is through the will of the Most High. And through doing all this, they're easily fulfilling, back in Jeremiah 49 and 20, the least of the flock shall draw them out. And they are drawing all these countries out with each passing day into the Valley of Jehoshaphat for that final battle. And they were definitely right when they said, but we may not be so lucky in 2018, which is the year of prophecy. And we just have to pray and hope that these are these things are quickened more and more so we can get out of here. And I hope you brothers were edified. Until next time, Shalom.